up on a roof today showing you guys what it's like to use a roofing shovel. This is the MBI Tools shingle stripper, the 14 tooth head on it. It's got a pretty beefy back part to it. And about a three foot handle. About four foot, a little shorter than four foot total length. Our other one is a Razorback seven tooth one it's got a little less of a wedge behind it three foot six inches long from the edge to there it's a two foot eight inch at a seven inch length and the wedge from the top to the bottom three inches the MBI one has a fiberglass handle, about three inches there for the wet. The wedge is about three inches, 14 tooth, eight inches wide, From top to bottom. Three foot nine inches on the blade over three foot one inches. The MBI tools one is just a little bit more expensive. Here on the roof, testing out the MBI shingle stripper. It's got some pretty beefy back angle to it. 14 teeth. Does really well on nails. This. Just a rocking motion. See what it can do with some shingles over here. Goes a lot faster than a crowbar. This other one, it's a Razorback. It's got almost as wide a top on it, but it's only got seven teeth. And a little bit shorter of a handle. But still does the job. Gonna take a little bit more effort because it doesn't have as wide of a handle on it or as long of a handle on it. But it really turns the shingles fast. It's got very thick metal behind it. I think it's just as thick. 
as the metal on the back of this one. See, yeah, same thickness. This one got some holes in the back of it. I don't know what that's for. They both got wedges so that you can do that rocking motion. To, so you can just rock the stuff off. And here's how it does on a nail compared to this one. Right. It's kind of got longer so it can get the nail in a little bit easier. But no matter what, anything's better than a shovel and a pry bar. Real roofing shingle, real roofing shovel is the way to go. As far as speed, I think the shovel here on the right can go faster just because it's easier to catch the nails in these longer grooves than it is here. And it doesn't hurt your back as bad because you got the able to have a longer handle, more of a fulcrum here. Because if you look at that, it's definitely got a deeper back angle to it and this does so this is still one heck of a tool this is about my fifth roof that I've stripped the shingles from and the first roof we just had pry bar and pitchfork from the farm and I would never go back to not having one of these tools on a roof ever again and clean up with a flat-headed shovel or a pitchfork. Forty minutes, including sweeping. One person can get done with a shovel. And that's what it looks like, felted with no shingles.